Hello, 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 everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I just finished working in plumbing, and I hate it. But then I said to myself, hello, is it this is what you do every day, working in plumbing? Mm -hmm. This is what we do every day. I work in the plumbing. I like it. I don't like it. I hate it, but it is what's happening. So welcome, family, and please invite your friends, and don't forget to download the videos. And admins, if you want to share the links for Patreon, go ahead, you know, because they are after us. doesn't matter what we do. So today our topic, what is the proof that Quran is the word of God? Well, I search on the Internet, as usual, seeking help from Muslims and always Muslims they help me really a lot and I mean the answers are really very much convincing I mean who can deny the answers they are very sharp and they are built to prove in the front of us we have Muslim website it's called submission and there is different website it's called uh, uh, why Islam and you know the Muslims in order to convince you that the Quran is the word of God uh, uh, usually they do this uh, look at this trick everything made so much sense this is the beauty of the Quran it asks you to reflect and reason okay and who says that Cat Stephen the former British pop star who converted to Islam so as long cat Stephen he said that it must be true this is not the uh, goat Stephen or donkey Stephen this is cat Stephen <laughs> I mean they are trying to convince you true you know this is the, this is the this is the step of showing you that how you know maybe you are a fool who go after famous names because he converted to Islam and he said that that's mean this is a true I believe Cat uh, Stephen is suffering from depression, and this is a main reason to convert to Islam. Uh, uh, some they convert to Islam to punish their society, their family, like like uh, like a, uh, you know what? You guys don't like Islam. I'm going to do the opposite. You know, uh, there is people they have many sickness. You know, yesterday we heard of a person, and the day before, uh, a person going in Walmart and shooting people. Yeah, that's a mental issue. You shoot people, you shoot yourself. That is absolutely mental issue. And here, when somebody converts to Islam and he says to me, everything made so much sense. Either you are shooting yourself or you are considering us a bunch of fool. What is in the Quran makes sense? And it's the, it asks you to reflect a reason. What is in Islam make you reflect reasons? So if I believe in Allah, and I bend over five times a day, that will give me the chance to slave, enslave 80,000 little boy. In the top of that, because I bend over five times a day, and I hated my neighbors, the Christians and the Jews, Allah will give you a huge number of women who they are always naked, naked, made for sex. That is the reasons and the reflect the reasons. So they try to force you into considering famous names because they consider you a fool who if uh, a, a superstar famous person he says something good about Islam this is why they made videos actually they asked many actors after 9-11 to say I'm a Muslim I'm a Muslim the fact they are not you know it's just because they want to promote Islam and they knew how much impact in the head of the fool if an actor he said something good about Islam Now, are you a fool? So what if Cat is Stephen? Who is Cat is Stephen? Let us say tomorrow there is a very famous person he converted to Islam and he's a fool. I'm not. And the proof is in the front of us. Who is a Muslim right now? I'm going to open my Skype. 
He is willing to call me and give us just one reason to believe in what this guy he said that Islam, the Quran asks you to reflect reasons and reasons. It makes sense. Quran makes sense. So who is the beautiful Muslim, handsome Muslim, smart Muslim, is willing to call us and to tell us what is makes sense in this religion or this uh, cult? Whatever you want to call your religion. What makes sense there? My Skype is open. And if you are a Muslim would like to call me, please feel free. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim? Who is willing to call us and show us what is, where is the Quran? It asks you to reflect on reasons. Well, as long as there's no Muslims to, to call us, uh, then we have no choice except to go and read the article. And look here, you know, they see the reasoning of Muslims. The Muslim, they will try to convince us that the Quran is from God. How? Preservation of the Quran. Let us say, you know, my friend, if a preservation of a book will prove that it is from God, that means all preserved books are from God. As an example, my book is preserved. <laughs> I must be God then. Secondly, what do you mean preservation of the Quran? If Muslim, you Muslims say that the, even the goat ate the Quran, if even you Muslim you say that Quran was in, 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 there is many Quran and Uthman he burned them. If the Quran itself says the Quran is the preserved, what do you mean the preservation of the Quran? Is that you Muslims? And this is Aisha saying that the goat ate your book. But we have to admit that this is a holy goat. I mean, it must be special goat. Not any goat can eat the Quran because it's very hard to digest. The verse of stoning and breastfeeding an adult 10 time was revealed and the paper was under uh, with me under my pillow. Who's talking? Aisha, the wife of the prophet. Not me. So the Quran was under the, the pillow of Muhammad. The pillow of Aisha is the same pillow of Muhammad. Remember that. She's his wife. Unless uh, Muhammad uh, was kicked out from the, the, the bed of his wife. And the paper was under my pillow. And when the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death. And the tam sheep came and ate it. Uh, what? Yes, brother. A tam sheep came and ate it. And I am not joking. True story. So they give us headache about preserved Quran. Quran preserved, Quran preserved, Quran preserved. And then what we find? We find this. And by the way, if anyone see this uh, goat anywhere, please just report to the FBI, uh, Islamic FBI, Islamic police, because uh, the uh, our FBI will not really uh, care. They are uh, kuffar. Hmm? So the goat looked like she uh, she was like Cat Stephen. She did read the Quran and she found it yummy. So in order to, like she said, I'm not going to let this book out from my hand. I'm going to put it in my stomach. And the goat ate it. So they say to us that the, uh, that the Quran was preserved. And then we find them in their book saying that the Quran was eaten by a goat. And not only that, those verses until now, they are missing. Where is the verse of stoning to death in the Quran today? Any Muslim can show it to me? What is the verses of a breast feeding for adult? And by the way, this is alone is a story. This is alone is a proving that Islam must be from God because the only the God of Islam who order women 
to give their breast to an adult man so he can suck from their nipples, even if there's nothing there. I mean, this, did, did this guy, he said in the article that the Quran asks you for reasoning? What is the reasoning of a God to order a woman to give her breast to a strange man? What is the reasoning? So in Islam, women, they have to cover themselves. We are not allowed to shake their hands, but we can hold their boobs and we can suckle them. Yummy, yummy. What do you mean this is where I found this picture? This is talking, uh, taking, uh, uh, okay. You see, guys, maybe you are not advanced as us as Arab. We are the Arab who first who, who had the, the technology of selfie. So the goat, she went in the bedroom of the prophet. You see the bed is in the back, all right? And she took selfie using his phone. So thank God, not only the Quran is preserved, even the stories about eating the Quran is preserved. And now we have a real witness, you know, Aisha. And is the Muslim who say that Aisha, she is a kafir, she is a liar? So where is the preserved Quran? And you know, how in the world you are you telling me that the, the goat only ate those two verses? I mean, what's wrong with you? Goat. Goat ate only two verses. Maybe this is what I, I should remember. Or she found in the most important verses. There's no way the goat will stop, you know, give, give, give the goat a book. She will eat the whole book. Goats, they eat even plastic. Anything go in their way, they eat it, they chew it. So when you say to me that the Quran is preserved, it's a miracle, brother. Yes, it's a miracle. Where is the preservation of the Quran? And by the way, and just to 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 to, to tell you, I'm really upset from this goat because I wish that this verse about breastfeeding for adults is still in the Quran, so we can use it for a comedy show. Right now, because of this filthy goat, she ate the verses. And by the way, I don't think the goat ate it. I think the Muslims ate it. And I will prove it to you. Because let us say for the sake of argument, the goat ate the verse. Don't the Muslims, they say we memorize the Quran. Okay, well, the goat ate it. What about you? Did the goat eat you too? Did the goat eat your memory? What is the verse? The goat ate the Quran. What about your memory? All the Muslim memory, the verse is gone from it. That's it. We cannot find it. Look like the goat did not eat the Quran only as book. She ate every single. She erased the memory. She was licking the memory of every Muslim. <laughs> hey, goat, what are you doing? Set up CP. I'm licking the memory of Muslims. And for sure, if we ask Zach and Naik about this, he will say to you a very smart answer. Uh, brother sister, did the person name the Christian prince and you will ask question and their question are not valid and I'm going to prove it for you today as an example he said and he quoted from the mother of the believer Aisha peace of her that the words of the thorning on the breastfeeding adult 10 time was revealed and it was in the paper under my pillow and the goat ate the paper first of all when our mother, the mother of the believers, she speak about an incident. She is reporting a very, very dangerous incident that this goat was sent by the Jews. And she was working for the Russian and most likely for the CIA. Otherwise, why she ate at that book? What about the other book, brother? Uh, Dr. Zakenek, but this is not the question. How the Quran is preserved, yet the goat ate it. So the Quran is not preserved. You are stupid and you are ignorant. And I'm going to prove it. First, it is it preserved and preserved in the goat belly. And until now, the goat belly is preserving the verses. Uh, so now, where we can find the verses in the goat uh, belly? Exactly. And because you are stupid and you do not know how to find the goat, you think it's gone, but the fact is there. But we need to find the goat first. And then I, I assure you, we will find the verses preserved inside the belly of the goat. 
uh, well, I never thought about this, Dr. Zakanaik, so I really apologize. I told you you are stupid. I told you you are stupid, and I am smart, and I know it. And don't call me again. Hmm. Where is the preserved Quran? Hmm? Preserved Quran. Even the Quran says that Allah caused you to forget the Quran. And why Muhammad he says that? If you if you see the reason, you will die laughing. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Any Muslim? You don't understand what Zakir Naik said? Yeah, I don't understand too. You think I understand what he said? Hello? And the brother and sister, in Islam you do not need to understand. You need to, to die that only. That repeat after me. Say the Sahada and don't understand the Sahada because it's in Arabic. Who? Who in Islam understand anything? Nobody. Nobody. This is why even Muslims, when they try to explain a verse in the Quran, they say Allah knows best because they don't know what they are saying. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to say to us something? Who is a Muslim? You see, we want to take your uh, your belief into serious consideration and we want someone seriously, he can prove to us any of those claims. The Muslims, they have them in their website. But as long as there is no Muslim to prove that to us, let us go here. One of the great miracles, chapter 7, verse number 35. For first time in history, we have a built-in proof. I like this as a built-in stuff, by the way. Always, really. I like it built-in. Like, imagine you have a, a phone, but you don't have a Bluetooth. It's built-in, make it a lot convenient. That Quran is N. What? Hold on, we have a caller. Hold on. Hello? Hey there. Hey, Mr. Wasim, how are you? Uh, not bad. I just wanted to ask you a quick question. Uh, are you the one who always curse and run away, call names and run away? You are, right? No, I don't curse. I, yeah, don't you are. I know you. Come on. As a Middle so, so, yeah, you are the East one. You are the one. You are the one. And always you try to change my topic. Always we talk about potato. You call me to ask a question about tomato. Isn't it? This is the case. No, I've never called you before on Skype. No, you called me before many so times. It's recorded. As a Middle East Christian. Okay, let me ask you. Let me Do ask. You? Let me ask you why you are trying to change the topic. I'm not trying to change the topic. So I'm talk about the proof of the Quran. Then. I'm just asking you a question. Talk about the proof of the Quran. You've been lying to Protestants. You said that as a Middle East Christian, do you reject infant baptism? I reject, and pray I reject what? And Mary I reject and what? Jesus I reject and what? Call him Mary, the mother of God. Reject do you what? condemn that? I reject what? Say again. Do you reject infant baptism and call him Mary, the mother of God? You know, you see how stupid you are. First of all, I don't care what you think. I care about what I say. And let me tell you what I say about the question you ask. I believe it's better for a yeah, person to... Up. Shut up, let me answer you. It's better for a person to do baptism when he is adult. However, because... You in shut up, let me answer you, potato. Let me answer you. But because a child, he might die before he reached the age then it can be better that he take the baptism when he's a child. 
So both of them, they are right. And I don't mind if my son do it twice, which means he do it when he is a child and he do it when he is adult because this is his choice. So if he die in young age, he received the Holy Spirit. This is how the cover they hang up and this is how they fabricate answers. Secondly, I saw your comment in the text. You said the Coptic church, they have idols. You are a potato and you are a dummy. Catholic, they don't have that. They don't have statues. They don't have any of that. Secondly, I'm not a Coptic. Number three, I'm not a Catholic. Number four, I am not a Protestant. Number five, you are a donkey and coward. This is why you hang up. The beach? And in my answers, I don't take a side of something called Catholic or Protestant. I take a side of the Bible. We as a Christians, we are neither Catholic, we are neither Protestant. I am not protesting to be Protestant. And I am not uh, following tradition to be Orthodox. And I am not a Catholic because I don't listen to the Pope. But at the end of the day, the Catholic, the Protestant, the Orthodox, all of them, they listen to the word of Jesus and they are worshiping Jesus. And this is why all those three churches, they share the same value I share. So all of us, we are Christians. You are a stupid, you are a fool, and you are a coward. I'm not calling you names, by the way, but because of your cowardness, you don't want to always, this is what you do. You call because you have no answer for anything. And you think you get like something, like, did you say, did you say, I say every day, Abdul, potato. I say what I say every day. And it's recorded. And I ask people to copy my videos and publish it everywhere. Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? You see, always the Muslims, by the way, they try to make the vision between Christians. Did you see that question? The whole purpose of the question is not to know, by the way. It's just to say, did you say that? So maybe somebody, he is a Protestant, he will not like that, or he's a Catholic, he will not like what I said. It's just about division. Christians, really Christians, they will not support division. Even the Bible speak about that. That be aware of people who bring division. Division always from Satan. Either they are deceived, which means they are wrong, but maybe good people, good Christians, but they are wrong in understanding, or they are really false Christians. We as a Christians, we follow only one person, not a bishop, not a Christian prince, not a pope, not a Protestant, not a Catholic. We follow Jesus. Anyone who follows someone different from other than Jesus, he is not Christian. Now, who is a Muslim? want to call us who is a Muslim would like to call us this is the best you have do you, this is the best you have baptism and when you are an infant or baptism when you are adult both is good and actually I support people to do both which mean when you when you are a parent I think it's a good idea to baptize your child so he will be blessed with the Holy Spirit since a very early age and then when he is an adult because now he is making a choice he can do baptism again now can we do baptism again every day is a baptism for us why not the day you are accepting the messiah you are a reborn again uh, he asked a question about mary the mother of god simply this is because of your because of your stupidity when somebody is a Catholic or a Coptic, he says Mary is the mother of God. Well, she is the mother of Jesus. Christians, who is Jesus? Christians, who is Jesus? Tell me in the text, please. Who is Jesus? Is he your God? Okay. Who is his mother? Mary. So if they say Mary, the mother of God, still they are not, they are not false. Just because you are stupid. And whoever disagree with it, he is just not thinking deeply. Because simply Mary is the mother of Jesus. And who is Jesus? He is our God. So being his mother by flesh does not make him make, make her the mother of God as God. <laughs> but it's a fact. 
Mary is the mother of Jesus and Jesus is God. So if they say the mother of God, they are not lying. <laughs> stupidity, you know, stupidity is really amazing. And the whole point of those questions is just to play games, but not really to ask questions. They don't care really for uh, knowing and answers. They are just looking for uh, a game to play. And what, what hurt their feeling most that I don't give them a chance to play their game, to divide us. You know what I mean? This is the whole point. How we can divide those Christians? Do you remember? Do you remember what the Quran says in chapter 5, verse number 15? 14, sorry. I will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians from now until the day of judgment. And how he would do that? Allah is dead. Muhammad is dead. This is Allah, Muhammad. Uh, Muslims, they will try their best. And if you are a fool, if you are not a person, who really listen carefully to the word of, of Christ, who said clearly that we are one church and he is the Lord of our church, then the devil will be able to play with you. Somebody saying, can you uh, explain for us Luke chapter 23? You know, look like you see people, they are desperately trying to make us go away from our topic. Why nobody want to talk about our topic? Do you think here we are like I'm a waiter and you bring me your menu with me? Jesus, he forgive them. So what's the problem with that? If this verse needs explanation for you, that's mean you have a mental issue. Or if you want to say something else, I'm not sure what it is because it blind text. Well, what does this have to do with my topic? Jesus, for he is the Lord of forgiving. He even forgave those who killed him. What the problem? How more beautiful you want from, you know, from what Jesus did. You see, Jesus always who speak about forgiveness, when they ask him how to pray, he said pray like this. And right away he says, forgive to us the same as we forgive to others. So he made it clear that if you Christians, you ask me for forgiveness, you have to forgive. And imagine Jesus himself, he asks you to forgive others, but he will not forgive himself. So Jesus was always a person, as our Lord, our God. He say and he do what he say. So even in the cross where nobody will forgive, with the painful process of death of a crucifixion, yet he is thinking about forgiving the Jews. Why that is a problem for you to understand. Now, who is a Muslim would like to call us and he have something to say about our topic? What is the proof, brother, that Quran is a word of God? And as you see in the article, it says we have a built-in proof that the Quran is unaltered. But we prove that in two seconds that this is false. Even the Quran says that this is not true. Even the Quran says that Shaitan, he put words in the mouth of Muhammad. And because Muhammad is a false prophet, he could not remember what he said yesterday. In order to cover his lies, he said the following. None of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten. <clears throat> I thought the Quran is preserved. Even your God, he make you forget the Quran. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the same person he's trying to play games again. This guy, by the way, is like, like uh, he suffer from mental issue. He always do the same.
Any brave Muslim? Yeah, I think it's the same person. But let us take him, you know, for fun. I mean, what we can do? We are out of customers. <laughs> This is what happens when you are out of customers and you open a restaurant. Any, anyone walk in the street and say, you want to get in? Come on, get in, get in. If you have too many customers, uh, you don't care who is walking by. So let us try this guy. He's texting me again, I think. <laughs> yes. Hello, Christian Prince. How are you today? I'm fine. How's your day been? It's all right. What I'm glad wanna, to hear that. What do you want to say to us? Are you a Muslim, right? Yes. Um, I saw I saw you were speaking about the um, goat eating part of the Quran. Hmm. Yes. Um, to be honest with you, I mean, there's no explanation to that, I think. Yeah, I think you're not a Muslim and you are a troll. Don't call me again. I know your voice. Hey, no, don't call me. Don't call me. I know your voice. You are just a troll. There is many people who have a mental illness and they are children. They are maybe they are growing like men, they have a size of a man, but they have a mentality of a child and they think we are just here to, you know, uh, yeah, go play a game, go and buy a game. Tell your mommy to buy you a PlayStation. Say, hey, mommy, can you buy me PlayStation? I want to play. Can we have some adult Muslims want to call us? No, I will not let him talk. I know that this guy, he is a troll. Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? None of our revelation. Do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten? Question, question. Why Allah, he caused you to forget the Quran? You see, we have a built-in proof that the Quran is forgotten. Isn't what you said to us in the article that we have a built-in proof? This is the built-in proof. The Quran is forgotten. Where is the preserved Quran? <clears throat> Hello? Where is the preserved Quran? If even your Quran saying that we cause you to forget the Quran, how much Quran you forgot, Muslims? Seven kilos, ten kilos, five kilos. Ibrad and Thitar. A Christian friend he said, How many kilograms we forget of the Quran? I answer him in a very simple, humble word. Only Allah knows best. How many kilograms we forgot, brother? Allah he, Allah, he sent Quran and then he make you forget the Quran. I mean, who is the silly here? The stupid, who is the stupid here? The one who says this verse or the one who claimed to be God? Hey, brothers and sisters, I want you to forget everything I said to you five minutes ago. Uh, Allah, why you want us to forget everything you said five minutes ago? Because it was not uh, <clears throat> um okay uh, because it is not uh, um uh, <clears throat> uh, I, because i'm god and uh, you know i say uh, b is going to be that's it like what the heck who is a muslim want to tell us why allah he sent us quran and he want us to forget the quran what was wrong with it hmm what does that mean? Allah, he wiped, he erased our memory the same as in the alien movies. The guy, he told them to look at the flashlight and they look at the flashlight and then they forget everything, even the police. This is a miracle, brother. Who is going to explain to us what is this? The Quran says that Allah sent Quran and he make you forget the Quran. And then the Muslim says to us, we Muslims memorize the Quran by our heart. Uh, brother, first, its memory is not in the heart. It's in your head. Secondly, in the case of Muslims, I don't think there is anything have to do with the head. Because all the Quran promises is speaking to your private part. 
if your God Allah really he speak to you consider that you have a brain then he will not say to you that there's a flying car that can take 600,000 chairs and there's a magical ring Suleiman he wear and he control the genies and there's genies who die for Suleiman and even genie shaitan he slept with Suleiman all his wives and he was doing boom boom to them thank thank God I am not Suleiman imagine so I go to the bathroom you, you know the story of Suleiman right I feel sorry for Suleiman according to Islam the, the poor guy he went to the bathroom and when Suleiman he go to the bathroom <clears throat> Uh, he cannot take his ring with him because this is a holy ring brother mm -hmm. Maybe the ring if you go with him to the bathroom is going to lose its power by by touching the <clears throat> you know So always he give his ring to his wife and her name is Jarada, which means Loctos Shaitan he come in the look of Suleiman. Look at this Shaitan. He can come in any look Okay, well done. If Shaitan come, you know, there's a story. Shaitan he come in the look of Jibril, and they call him Al Abiyad. And there's a st story of Shaitan coming in the look of Suleiman. So, what what is the proof that Muhammad himself was not a Shaitan? And Shaitan is coming in the look of Muhammad. If Shaitan, according to you Muslims, once he came as an angel and once he came as Suleiman himself. hello so anyway to make the story sort of brother Suleiman he went inside the bathroom and he gave his wife the ring and by the way this is a true story brother true story and actually uh, me myself too when I go to the bathroom I give uh, uh, my ring uh, uh, which I get it from uh, uh, my grand 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 grandfather to control the uh, the word I give it to one of my wives I have many wives so and then Shaitan he came to her and he said to her give me the, uh, the ring and his wife she looked like what my husband he finished his, his doo doo very fast like he just get in and now like what anyway she gave him the ring Shaitan he wore the ring and he became the king Ta -da -da -da! and then he controlled all the kingdom Suleiman get out of the bathroom and people did not believe him because uh, the king is there you cannot be the king he looked like the king yes but he's not he cannot be because now we have two Suleiman so they kick him out of the palace and then the poor Suleiman he start working as a putter true story and then brother how the wives of Suleiman they discover that this is not the true Suleiman who remember the story who remember the story anyone remember Anyone remember? Because he was so good in sex. The wives did notice that this new this, this husband like what happened yesterday his uh, his uh, thing does not even like uh, work not even one percent and today is like dragon 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 then then dragon 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 then then so brother in the Quran we have a built in proof that Quran must be from God all those stories brother flying carpet diving for Sulaiman a bird looking for women have no hair in her legs and telling the ants to hide otherwise Solomon will destroy them that's amazing what is the built-in proof
Any Muslim can find us the built in proof? I'm just trying to find it. <clears throat> so look what they say in their articles. Quran is not changed and have a built-in proof. A proof that variable by anyone you really so powerful is the proof. The few generation it will become obvious that any religion or any group of people which advocate faith as a brief okay go to the, the proof Quran chapter 17 verse number 36 you shall not accept any information unless you verify it for yourself I have given you hearing and eyesight in and the brain and you are is response responsible for using the, the Quran says that the Quran says you have to you, I give you a brain and you what chapter 17 verse number 36 shall we go there guys yeah, shall we go there little examination for chapter 17 verse number 36 hold your seats belt ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. let us see how much truthful what they are saying to us This is not what it says. This is not what they said to us in the article. You, you see, guys, this is the this is totally different translation. Like what happened? Uh, let us go back to the article. Uh, there is a Muslim calling me idiot. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. You shall not accept any information unless you verify them. Okay, let us go to the verse. And pursue not of which thou has not knowledge. It doesn't say verify them. It says the opposite actually. It says don't stop and examine things. You have no knowledge of it. And then, hold on. Let me let us change the translation. Maybe the translation, uh, uh, maybe here this guy is not right. Let us see different Abdul. Uh, let us see uh, uh, what which one. Uh, where is a uh, Shakir? Shakir. Let us see Shakir. Okay, and follow not that which you have not the knowledge. Okay. Follow not which you have not the knowledge. This is mean for a fi. This is what the verse is saying. We have to verify. And surely the hearing and the sight and the heart, all of those sort of questions about that. Where here it says you have to verify. And we are here, it says we should the question. You see here what it says, and the hearing and the and the sight and the heart, they question about that. They question about the first sentence. They question about things they have no, no knowledge of. So all what they are saying to them, follow the one who have a knowledge, and who is the one who have a knowledge? Allah and his prophet. So it's not the Muslims who will acquire the knowledge. Let me show it to you from different verse. Those who have knowledge in Islam is not the one who have knowledge. It is those who say we believe. If you go in chapter 3,
verse number seven. Let us see. But none knows the interpretation of the Quran except Allah. And those who are firmly rooted in knowledge, they say we believe in it. So who is the one who have knowledge? Nobody. It's just saying we believe. So if you question, if you question, if your eyes a question, if your heart a question, if your mind a question, well, you should not do that. Don't don't follow what you have no knowledge on. And let your heart and your eyes a question because you have to follow blindly. Let us see the interpretation for this verse from the Muslims' uh, uh, books. Uh, all right. Let us go there. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Let us see what it says. It says the opposite. Don't follow your thoughts. Be aware of suspicion. For suspicion is the falsest of his speech. Do you see it? So how you say to us, we have to suspect everything examine everything and then your prophet explaining this verse saying be aware of subs uh, uh, suspicion hmm? do not accuse anyone of that which you have no knowledge this is what the verse is saying is not asking you to examine the quran and examine etc so it's the opposite actually you see, when somebody says to me, I am a prophet, in my head, I have to examine and write thing, the, right, the first thing come to my mind, he is a false man, which is an accusation. And now I have to prove it. The Quran says, do the opposite. And the reason I'm saying now this because they are trying to make it as the Quran saying that we have to examine knowledge. You see, the Quran is saying examine. This is what they are saying. You shall not accept any information unless information. You see the word information? You see how they translate everything wrong? Unless you verify it yourself. Okay, you Muslims, how you verify that the Quran is a word of God? Let's continue. The mathematical structure of the Quran was discovered by Dr. Ah, this is Rashad Khalifa website. Rashad Khalifa who destroyed verses from the Quran to, to, to fabricate something called the mathematical miracle of the Quran number 19, which we prove to be false. You see, all of this, sorry, all of this is a false mathematics. Uh, where where is the where is the person who asked me about uh, uh, Luke twenty three? Are you there? Are you still in the chat? I think I you know I made a mistake. I think I thought this person is a Muslim trying to take us out of uh, topic, but I think uh, it's a Christian person. Uh, please, you know, when I'm talking about something, don't take me away from my topic. All right, you know, for me, you see, here we go. I have suspicion that your question is a coming from a Muslim trying to divert me. The Quran saying, don't suspect. <laughs> so the Quran actually is saying, take Muhammad words blindly. Not what they are claiming. And now they are trying to prove to you another deception that the Quran have a, a, a mathematical uh, a miracle. And we you know we prove this. And if you have my books, if you saw my videos, we prove it very easily. In, in two, in two minutes, you know, in a minute. Who is a Muslim? He is willing to call me and tell me about the miracle nineteen, and I will do my duty to prove it to you in less than a minute to be false. All of this.
Look, look, look how long. Look, 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 false. Anyone? Less than 60 seconds. Actually, what I changed my mind. 30 seconds. Who want to call me is a Muslim? And I will prove that the miracle of number 19 is false in less than less than 30 seconds. Come on, don't make me ten, say 10 seconds. This is too much. Like, I will not be able to say hello. Anyone? It's a lie. It's a big fat lie. Just to, to make it simple for those who, uh, because you might get Muslims speaking about this issue with you. If you go, this this uh, claim of 19 and even Shabir Ali he talked about it too and the potato I challenged him to prove it to us in the screen you know show us on the screen how you can count the words so they say to you brother that brother if you calculate the first verse in the Quran Bismillah rahman rahim is going to end as 19 letters and then the, the drama continue for many verses after but we can prove it very easy that this is false because first of all in Quran there's nothing it's called bism it is bism it is drawn here by let me let me uh, let me show you here there's a letter is not showing the Muslim they changed the word because it is hard to pronounce it so they took off the alif so here we go the first alif would destroy all the claim of 19 Number two, here in the Quran, you will see there's something is called Shadda. Those who speak Arabic, actually, you can watch the, the videos of what is mean. Nu'man Khan. Nu'man Khan, he count every letter have Shadda. This is Shadda. It's like something in the top of the letter. Let me let me zoom in. Hold on. You see this thing here? It looked like this, looked like a, like a sword or, you know. You see it in the top of the letter here? In the top of this letter. Do you see it? When you see that, that means there is two letters, not one. So in order, this is this is a new addition to the Arabic. When the Quran came, there was no those things you see in the top of the letters. They were not exist like those uh, here dots, here here sukun, uh, kasra, etc. All of those are not exist in Arabic at that time. Those are addition. So each time there is, you see this uh, uh, this uh, uh, signal here in the top of a letter. That's mean the letter is two letters. So Rabbu, Rabbi, Rabba, B Ba, B Ba. So we use Shadda, so we make it extend, and that will save us from typing the letter twice. So look what happened now. How many Shadda we have in this uh, uh, in this uh, uh, verse? Let us clean the screen and do it again. Here we have Shadda and uh, in the top of the letter L, Allah. Then here we have Rahman. And here we have Rahim. So just by adding those, we have three more letters addition. You believe it? No. Hold on, we are not done. Do you see here in the top of this word, a Rahman? Let me change the color. You will see uh, like a little, uh, little stick. If I can say it's a stick. Let me zoom in. Here. Look underneath of it. You will see something like that. You see it? Uh, you know. I'm just trying my best to show you. You see that thing here? Do you see it? Small, small, tiny thing. This is Aleph. Is this is letter A? <laughs> so look what happened. In in you know in a very easy look, we find that the number 19 became 20, 21, 23, 
A24, A25. So where is 19? It's a lie. Here, there is Aleph. And actually, I can show you from the Quran itself that this is written wrongly in the Quran. In Arabic, we have nothing. It's called Bism. That is a stupid Arabic. But the Muslim, because they fabricate their book, they took the letter off just to make it easy to pronounce. Even they agree, all the sheikhs agree that the word is not Bism, it is Bism. And let me show you from the Quran itself. I will type the word in the correct way in the Quran. And let us see how it's going to appear. Switch to Arabic. Do you see it, guys? This is the correct way. Fasabbih bismi rabbika. You see the alif here? In the first in the first verse, it's taken off. Look how many verses. All those verses, they are writing the word correctly. Bism. 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 So this is the letter which is missing from this verse. Where here there's no bism. The letter here is gone. So where is the miracle of number 19? It's a lie. It's a big fabrication. Well, the Muslims, they say it's a miracle, and they're, they're, that to prove the Quran is must be made from God because there's a match in mathematics. But it's a fabrication. By the way, I'm going to make a, a book which is you divide number 17, you end uh, with the uh, seven midget. And that will make you worship me as God. But the point is, even those who they sponsor such a lie, it's very easy to get them busted. But the game is, you don't speak Arabic, and they can lie to you. How do you know what this, what, what this is about? They don't speak Arabic, but they cannot fool me. Like uh, Shabir Ali, uh, he was talking to David Wood, the miracle is of number 19. He can say that to David Wood, but he will not dare to open the stock. He don't even dare to say hello to me. Miracle of number 19. Now, do we have any Muslim here? He is a, a person who want to show us something. And then now we saw no proof of the Quran. And you know, as long like we look like we are not going to find a Muslim to explain to us if the Quran really from the God or not, well, the answer is very easy. I mean, there's a million reasons to refuse the Quran. The Quran is a stupid book. There's a million reasons to refuse the Quran to be the book of God because it is a book of stupidity. Have you ever heard of a God, you think, that babies are created from a sperm and the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man? Oh, my back. It's hurting me. Man, my back is hurting do you think I'm not going to have a sperm no more, huh? Man. Hmm? Backbone? Backbone? Your God believe that the baby is created from a sperm and the sperm is coming from the backbone. And this is why famous artists, they have a song, it's called Backbone, Backbone. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Backbone, Backbone, Backbone. And look, by the way, when you change the translation of a translator, all of them are Muslims, but everyone give you his own uh, <laughs> fiction. Then we made the sperm into a clot of congealed blood. The sperm became a congealed blood. Are you serious? Okay, tomorrow I'm going to make some sperm and I'm going to put them in the side and I will wait for them to, be, to, to, to transform into congealed blood, brother. What do you think, brother? I'm going to put some sperm in a dish and leave them in the table until the morning. Oh, hold on, hold on. You cannot do that. You have to wait for them for 40 or 50 days because the prophet, he spoke about how it worked. For how long the sperm stays sperm, according to the prophet who taught by Allah knowledge? 
and Allah knowledge is amazing I mean come on look what the Prophet said the brother the Prophet said when the drop of semen remains in the womb for 40 or 50 days that's it I have to convert now I mean how Muhammad knew the exact date so look as long Muhammad he says that the sperm the semen stay for 40 or 50 days I'm going to make some semen excuse my language and I will put it in a dish and I will wait for it for 40 or 50 days and guess what after 50 days we will have a steak yes a steak brother because no sorry not steak it's going to be a, a piece of a blood dead blood brother so you put a sperm in a dish brother and you leave it in the table for 40 or 50 days you come back home you will find your sperm became a blood true story and you are telling me why the Quran cannot be from God I mean have you ever heard a foolish God like this sperm transform into a clot of a congealed blood hello I'm truly convinced that this is from God we have to admit how I never thought about this before that this is must be from God I must be blind and now I see lights I see lights I see lights in my eyes uh, 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 no I think this is my neighbor from his driveway let me close the blind I, I thought for a second like uh, uh, almost I saw light of Allah but my neighbor he parked his car in the front of my driveway and like the light is blinding me Alhamdulillah look at this this is a this is the Quran which I have a proof a built in proof how I I know that you are Christian well here we go your number is zero zero seven all my friends the their numbers brothers sisters even the angels Ibril, their number end with zero zero seven Any Muslim? Any Abdul? Where is the Muslims would like to show us the proof and where you know? Okay, let's continue the wisdom of Allah, brother. That's a lot of wisdom. That's a wisdom, really. Wiz and dumb. That's full of dumb. And then, then of the clot, we made a fetus. Fetus? The Quran say fetus? No, this is addition. addition. A lump. Then we made out the lump bones. So well, hold on, hold on. So first we are a sperm for 40, 50 days. And then we are blood. And then the blood became a lump. May Allah lump you. I mean, that's a pure science. That's amazing. And then we made the lump into bones. So until now, what we are just bones now. So in this stage, we are just bones. Mm, back bones, back bones. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Back bones, back bones. That is science, brother. Hmm? In chapter 86 verse number six and seven it says that the sperm coming from the backbone and this is why by the way I called the insurance company I told them I want to uh, insure my backbone uh, they said we don't have insurance for such a thing we insurance all the body I said no 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 you don't understand I want to insure only my backbone because this is where the sperm is emitted what 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 the sperm brother is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women 
How are Allah knew that? And you are telling me the Quran is not from God? Are you blind or what? Isn't it obvious? Backbone, backbone. What you gonna do? Man, all of this happening from the backbone, little backbone. The sperm is coming from so what the testicles is made for. Do you think it was like a decoration, Allah? I think Allah He made the testicles as decoration. Like He said to Himself, What I should hang there, what I should hang there. Come on, like that thing by itself, it feels lonely. I'm going to hang two things. And Allah created testicles for decoration only. And uh, the sperm, brother, is coming from the backbone. It's obvious. <laughs> this is a religion. This is what you are trying to fool us and say this is the proof from God. This is what uh, from God. This is God now talking. Look, look at look, look what happened to uh, Sal. Sal John, Sal John, he got uh, he got shy. Look what happened, man. Oh, Sal John, he never heard the word testicle before, so he he uh, uh, he got uh, like uh, he, he's very shy. Man, <coughs> I feel you, brother. Any Abdul? Yeah, the backbone is the last bone in your back. The last little tiny bone in your back. Yeah. And there is a reason, there is a reason, Muhammad, he says that, because uh, supposedly if a person who do a lot of sexual activities, he feel in that area some lousiness. So Muhammad and the Arab, they come to conclusion that it must be coming from there. So otherwise, why he feel it? <laughs> why he feel like that? <laughs> So, <coughs> do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? How the Muslims got what? This told me I don't know what they mean my friend you see my English is limited because uh, only Allah knows English <laughs> Allah has knows all languages but he speak only in Arabic this is why you cannot even pray to him in your language you have to pray to him in Arabic a poor Indonesian he don't speak two words in Arabic he have to speak to Allah in Arabic Otherwise, his prayer is not accepted. I don't blame him. Allah like Arabic, and he speak only Arabic. He's the God of the Arab. Any Muslim? Why we are out of Muslims? Actually, the tongue of Allah is not Arabic. And let me show you. First of all, Arabic is not really a language by itself. Arabic is a collection of languages. Arab is not an ethnic. Therefore, there is no really language is called Arabic. But by time, we have established from the collection of languages what it's called today Arabic. Otherwise, there is not such, such a language. The Quran speak about the book as an Arabic book. All right. And look what the Quran says. Chapter 12, verse number 2. We have sent it down as in Arabic in order not to learn wisdom, so you might understand. Not to learn wisdom. Okay. So, why he sent it down in Arabic? So you might understand. Why? Because he sent it to the Arab, obviously, right? Now, this is not really a reason. 
but the author of the Quran he didn't know better even the Muslim they claim that Muhammad do not know how to write how to read and if you read in the Quran you will find that all the words in the Quran are not really it's, there's nothing called Arabic every single word from those you see it it's coming from the Aramaic and actually there's many strong uh, uh, scholars who believe that the first Quran was not really written in Arabic as Arabic today it was written in a version of Aramaic and the proof in the front of you actually look Alif Ra Alif Lam Ra those letters Muslim they say we do not know what they are but in fact this is something in Aramaic it's called the coding system so a, per, a person in Aramaic if you want to say to you Jesus is my God he say what he say Kahayas And Kahayas, <clears throat> what happened? If you ask any Muslim, what does that mean? They say we do not know, only Allah knows. Everyone start guessing. The fact this is Aramaic, it is a coding where instead of saying to you a sentence, and because the Christian, the first Christians, they were under a lot of a threat and discrimination by the Roman. So they designed a coding system where they can speak, but nobody understand except them. Every letter in Aramaic is equal to a number. So I can put letters, I can send you a letter, nobody can understand. As you see, ka ha ya ain sad. Okay, what does that mean? Nothing, it's letters. But for the other person who know the coding, he knew that this is mean Christ is my God. Al Masihu Ilahi. If you remember, the hadith said that when Waraq ibn Nawfal he died. Muhammad he tried to commit suicide many many times and not only that the hadith confirm that when Waraka he die no more Quran was coming to Muhammad that's why he wanted to kill himself and not only that this story confirm that Waraka was writing a book which is called the Bible in Arabic supposedly Read carefully. Khadija then occupied him, which means her Muhammad, to Waraka, and they say he is their cousin, Ibn Nawfal, Ibn Asad, Ibn Abdul Uzza, Ibn Qusay. All of this is his name. All of this is just a name. Waraka was the son of etc. And here it says, who during the pre Islamic period, Become a Nasara, not a Christian. This false translation. The whole Quran, by the way, never used the word Christian. They use the word Nasara, and Nasara is not a Christians. Nasara is the same as Jehovah's Witnesses. It's a cult, and used to write the Arabic writing, and used to write of the Gospel in Arabic, as much as Allah wished him to write do you see it that is the Quran Kabich and then when Waraka die you will see that there is no more Quran coming to Muhammad so look what happened uh, But after a few days, Waraka died and the divine inspiration also paused for a while. And the prophet becomes so sad, as we have heard, he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. Why is that? Because who is going to give him Quran now? Waraka died. 
and Muhammad he started thinking th seriously of taking his life because he will be exposed but then what happened Muhammad he remember that waraqa he left a book there he have the book there let me get the book if you have my books you will see that I believe strongly that the real father of Muhammad is waraqa anything happened to Muhammad waraqa is behind it Zafina hold on Zafina she is saying I don't know if Zafina is a Muslim or it is I don't know but Zafina is saying uh, what is Zafina what happened to Zafina what is the text of Zafina did you guys uh, what happened to Zafina I cannot find her text Zafina she said you uh, lie about the Quran because you feel lonely I cannot find the text of Zafina what happened Zafina yeah Zafina in you Maritali Zafina where I did lie why you don't call me Zafina and show me where I did lie as you see I'm showing reference everything I say I'm giving a reference for what I said here we go this is Zafina guys look what Zafina she said uh, uh, you need a woman uh, CP I need a woman <laughs> and Zafina are you offering yourself to me as the prophet he says women Muslim women they can offer themselves to the prophet is that the purpose of your text you need a woman CP you twisted Quran cause you feel lonely okay after I twisted the Quran because I feel lonely am I not lonely now no more according to you <laughs> I think Zafina is you who is feeling lonely. That's why you are trying to offer yourself to me. I don't know. If you are rich like Khadija and young like her, like 25 years older than me, and you have no more teeth or nails, I might accept the offer if you have a lot of money like Khadija. I would think about it, uh, Zafira. How much you have, Zafira? Why you don't call me Zafira, Zafina? And show me where I twisted the Quran. Can you do that? Or just a stupid statement? Hmm? Prove me wrong. Here we go. Your prophet, he stopped receiving Quran because a man he died. What does this have to do with God? Who is this guy? If he died, Muhammad don't receive Quran no more. Hmm? Can you tell me? Everything I say, I show it on the screen. Guys, does it say here that the guy Waraka he died and then the Quran stopped coming to Muhammad or I'm making things up? Who is a Muslim and explain to us? Why if a man he die in earth, he is no one, Quran stopped coming. And then Muhammad he try to kill himself. Isn't it killing? What, do you think Muhammad was lonely, uh, Zafina? And this is why he tried to kill himself? <laughs> I think Muhammad was feeling lonely. Muhammad, he went home. I don't have a wife. I have only 13. Oh, at that time, sorry, he have only Khadija. Ah, maybe because he have Khadija at that time, he decided to kill himself. You know, he have a wife at the age of his mother. Let us see. I think we have a Muslim calling us let us see hold on let me put the speakers hello uh, Faris this is Faris Hi. Faris calling himself Isis fuck you mother bitch you motherfucker <laughs> fuck you <laughs> fuck you mother motherfucker son of bitch <laughs> thank you very much you see you scream all the way something came from your bum and you expose your prophet what more I want and he called himself Isis <laughs> Actually, I accepted your call because I thought you are Isis but turn you are nothing but a fart I Said to myself we got a fish Isis But turn to be a kid a stupid kid <clears throat> uh, this is exactly what Islam made out of them. Did you hear the words? 
Okay. <laughs> well, this is what I'm trying to prove. Islam does not make you a good person. What Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. I can say dirty words too. But first, I'm not going to insult your mother because I think she is a good woman. Practicing muta, as Allah told her. Halal. And she have a cute kid. His name is Isis Faris. Do we have any Abdul here? <clears throat> Anyone? So until now, we could not find really any any Muslim and any Muhammadan to show us that what they say in their article is true. All what we see here in front of us is a fabrication. Muslim believe that the Quran is a speech of God. Okay, here we go. Speech of God. What kind of God he think that women have a, have a sperm coming from their ribs? Brother, this is your interpretation, not mine. Quran is a speech of God. Okay. This is the speech of God. Look at this speech. Amazing. Have you ever heard of a God? He think women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. What do you say? Look, brother. Allah, he created you from gushing fluid. Meaning sexual fluid that comes from breast forth from the man and the woman. Okay, where is the sexual fluid is coming from? Proceeding from the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. <laughs> See, you Muslims, you prove to me that God, the God of his time, it must be true God. I mean, look at this. How, how Allah he knew this? How Allah he knew that? Sexual fluid? Hmm. Hmm. Any Abdul? All what we got today is a bunch of false uh, uh, people claiming to be, uh, they want to debate us. We, we take their call and then they turn to be a bunch of kids. But this is a great example of uh, what the fruit of Islam is. If Islam make you know make out of us something better, then we should see uh, people who speak with respect. They are not here to call names and to prove us wrong, but what we see the opposite: gamers, players, insulting, foul you know, uh, foul words, bad language. Yes, uh, Faris, how are you? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Christian Muslim. A Christian Muslim. Yeah. Sorry. Hi. My name is Wahid, and uh, I had some questions about uh, you know prophecy in Quran. Okay. That uh, that they they've been uh, write it about, for example, you know iron that the God send us iron that is uh, very helpful, and uh, I can send you actually, you know the verses of quran and uh, if you want you can hang no, up or I, if know, you want, I, I can stay no, and I, uh, if you could just like kind of explain no i know what uh, you know but uh, what about you tell us about this uh, you are a muslim right do you believe in what they say to you about this miracle you know i'm from uzbekistan and my country is a muslim and all my family was muslim i'm 21 years old and uh, i was believing allah till uh, like a few months ago i'm kind of rejected islam why reject because it's a little really hard to I don't know if you, it's a little, little bit hard to explain hmm. it's like so I got the since, miracle since inside when of you me. start listening to my videos Wahid. Mm, I just got uh, your videos and I start to watch you like not so long okay. ago 
just I see that uh, so this, you know, uh, this uh, really good stuff about no Islam and uh, so this is the, the 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 miracle of about, about the Aaron. Do you think it's true or it's a fabrication? Uh, no, I just think uh, how they could know about this stuff in the seventh century. You know. Yeah, but what, like, what they what they uh, told there is them, another example yeah. like no my friend that, that the, Hadi, let me show yeah. you this, let me show you how they lie first of all the numbers of the Quran is the Quran we have today is numbered by who do you know uh, no actually by Uthman yeah correct correct so there's something yeah. is called Quran according to revelation I'm sure you heard of that before correct Yes. Okay. Quran, according to Revelation, the chapter of Al Hadid. Let us go. I will put in the screen. Quran, according to Revelation. I will All put right. it in the screen. Yeah, I'm I'm calling you from mobile, so I'm watching you from uh, okay. my PC on YouTube. No so. problem. No problem. Yeah. Uh, so if we go here. I will show it to you on the screen. Do you see? Yeah. Do you see the chapter of Al Hadid? This is a chapter of Al Hadid. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's number ninety-four. Yes. In the Quran today, it is fifty-seven. Correct. So mm -hmm. one of the lies yes. they say to you, well, the number of uh, like a uh, neutron, you whatever they call it. In the hadith in the iron is uh, 57 but the fact this is not what Allah he sent the Quran he sent that chapter is in chapter 94 do you see it mm -hmm. yes so if this is a miracle that's mean this is a miracle done by Uthman not by Allah so it was a coincidence mm -hmm. that it was happened that this is the Aaron and this is the number of the Aaron and try to make a miracle from it but Allah he did not send this verse or chapter as 57 he sent it as 94 if you go in the top of here, it says uh, mm. the the order of the surahs. So uh, uh, number ninety six is now number mm. nine, uh, 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 one. All right. So it yes. is it is totally the opposite of what they are saying. Now, if we go, let me search for the what the uh, what the article is saying, and I will put mm -hmm. it on the screen so we sure. can read together. <coughs> Since I was a kid, you know, I've been often hearing. Yeah, the, no problem. The Quran has a, a lot of prophecy. Like I've been, I didn't heard all of them, but a few of them I heard that uh, there is even like yeah. medical uh, okay. prophecy that they knew in the seventh century, which they are dis discovering actually today, no, like so, in twenty first so century. They, 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 what what the Quran says about it is very funny and very silly, and we will show it to you. Uh, yes. Let us see. I'm trying I just to took like four of four of them. It was like I took like four examples from verses in Quran about water, iron, skies, and the mountains. Yeah. All right. Let us show what they claim. All right. You see, here we go. I found it. I put it on the screen. The iron. Iron yeah. has the strongest uh, bond uh, uh, nucleus among the element. Iron at atomic number is 26 it turned out that uh geometrical value of the word iron is 26 uh, hadid and this does this is how they try to fabricate but the fact uh the word hadid is exist before islam right so if this is equal yeah. that's mean the first one who called the word hadid hadid is the one who did this miracle if this is a miracle mm -hmm. do you understand what i'm saying yeah, is Allah, I, I guess is, so. You is mean Allah, like the is Allah the one who named it Hadith prophecy, or prophecy is Arabic language before then the Quran came? Like. Yeah, the, 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 this is this is a language exists before before Islam came, and therefore wow. whoever named it this way is it looked like he knew about about this. And look what they say to you. Uh, and here they start putting like uh, 54, 56, 57, 58, and the, and then it says to you that uh, in chapter the Quran coming as 20, uh, 50, uh, 57 uh, 25 so they try to say from the numbers well this is fit with the iron but the fact the iron was not sent in that order secondly the one who number them in that number is Uthman not Allah 
as you see the Quran as the numbers of Allah it was like this it's totally the opposite 94 57 so which one of them is the correct one secondly is it Uthman the correct one or it is Allah the correct one so when the Muslims and by the way the, the first time the word Hadith appear it was not in that that in that chapter so why you choose that chapter if we search now right now with the word Hadith mm. We are searching, all right. Chapter 17, verse number 50, it says Hadid. Why the Muslim did not choose this verse to speak about miracle? The numbers doesn't mm -hmm. match with them, right? Chapter 18, uh, just a second. Chapter I will open this chapter 17 and 50 because uh, I need to read it in uh, Russian and so good in English, you know? Yeah, no Arabic, problem. You can, take the, you, can, you can later take the notes. You know, yeah, it's yeah. recorded anyway. You can watch it and you can listen yeah. to it. You know, so look, look at this. So now we yeah. have chapter 17, verse number 50, chapter 18, number 96, uh, chapter uh, uh, 20, 21, 22, 21. So, and the chapter uh, 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 33, 19, chapter 34, uh, 10. <coughs> Chapter 50, 22, chapter 57, 25. So all those chapters came before that chapter. Why the Muslim they consider this chapter is the one fit with them and they refuse the rest? <coughs> because the numbers does not match. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, so, uh, 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 maybe maybe if they can say to us, well, the, the chapter of the hadith is the only chapter, and this is the only place where Allah He chose it to be. And we speak about the Aaron in that place we can say okay like this is something really strange so let us examine it and see what it is but as you see this is a fiction it's a lie secondly the chapter they quote for us look what the Quran is saying the Quran does not say that they say to us that uh, the Aaron was sent down from heaven this is what they say mm. and this is what saying discover but the fact this is not for that not true the Quran is saying that uh, Allah he sent the iron to the man and mm. Allah he sent everything down the words he sent down even mm. laws he sent down like we, we you know we uh, we we send upon them books libas and warish a cloth as feather let us show you so Allah when he says everything you have Allah he sent it down but did Allah really send us uh, an underwear? Did Allah uh, send us uh, our our pants? Did Allah send our dress? No. So also you want to say like uh, they discovered the iron like a long time before then they've been written in the Quran. My friend, the iron first of all, they lie when they say saying they discovered the iron coming uh, only from the space because the, the magma itself has mm. iron. Secondly, yeah, I've heard the same about iron that it came from the yeah, space. Yeah, that's a lie. That's a lie. There's a there's a, a a good amount of iron in the crust of the earth is coming from the sky. Yes, but this is not what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying that Allah He sent the that's iron as exactly. a, as a tool for mighty war for man, which means the man was there, and then Allah sent the iron to him. But the scientists they say that. Iron was sent down millions of years before the man is exist, but not all the iron in the earth is coming from that space. Little mm -hmm. tiny actually amount of it, because almost the huge number of uh, or amount of the magma itself is iron. Actually, the man himself, the blood of the man, have iron. If we don't have iron, they would die, right? So yeah. the Quran is saying that iron was sent down to the man, and look what he said. Uh and we send down what what we send down yeah. books you see it yeah okay and then he when we send down iron so why didn't say that books was sent down literally the iron is sent down literally obviously he's saying that we are the one who gave you everything we send you the iron we send you the books we send you even even your clothes so in order to fabricate trying to find a miracle 
they say world well, scientists discover that the iron etc and then they speak about the numbers but as we know that those, those numbers are made by Uthman he is the one who numbered the Quran as it is actually he is the one too who gave them those names the iron so if this is a proof that the, uh, 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 the one who made this is a God that's mean Uthman is God not Allah because Allah he did not give the Quran in such a number you know what I mean yeah yeah, yeah. I think do, do you understand me what, I, what I'm saying if if, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. if this is a proof that the one who made this is God okay the one who made this is God but the one who made this number or he made the Quran in such a order is Uthman it is not Allah so is Uthman is Uthman is the God secondly the Quran is not saying any what they are saying oh what the Quran is saying Allah he sent down everything Allah sent down the water Allah sent down the messengers Allah sent down his words Allah he sent down uh, uh, even our clothes so uh, 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 everything Allah he sent down and we receive supposedly and uh, is it similar about like other prophecies like about mountains mountains and uh about like what? water mountains that they uh, how can i explain you know mountains they're like sitting straight how can i tell in english just a moment I will explain you correctly what I mean. In, uh, in in Quran, in this verse about mountains, it says uh, seventy-eight six. Okay. Just open it, just a second. <coughs> six and seven ayat. Ch chapter chapter. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean uh, ch uh, chapter. 78 and uh, I add 6 and 7. Okay, 78. Yeah, and 6th and 7th. That they say here, uh, I'm reading in Russian, but All right. I, read, I understand, I understand. But, you, but, but you see, but you see, the same chapter they are saying to you at have a miracle is the same chapter proven to us Islam to be to be false. And let us approve it. The verse before it claiming that Allah he made the earth as a flat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. In the sixth, and they then, say that. Yeah, in, and then in it says, about, uh, and the mountains, mountains. as as pages, but the mountains are not pages. The mountains are not according to Islam. Allah, He placed the mountains in the top of the earth. It's yeah. not, but uh, but science, you know, just even even Kasser, is, huh? he was like uh, even even Kasser when he was like translating Quran, he explaining like the mountain is sitting straight, like the same large as in the top the same large on the down right he placed it I mean, in the you know top, what I mean? like, he placed it in the top of the earth yeah he, he placed it and why so the earth will not move on you let us go to the Quran so it says so we place it so the earth will not move on you but this is false because actually mountains happen because the earth is moving not the opposite it's a reason the reason for the mountain the real reasons is the earth is inside is alive with the magma with the heat and because of that there is a pressure of the tectonic plates so either it's going to happen from volcano or from the pressure of tectonic plates not because the earth is a flat and Allah he placed it on the top chapter 21 it says وَجَعَلْنَا, uh, and we have set on earth mountains standing from do you see it is it the same uh, this is chapter 21 chapter 21 verse no, chapter sorry yeah, 21 verse number 31 okay 21 31 yeah. yes okay so Allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth why he made in the top of the earth Rawasi, which is a, a form of mountains so that the earth will not shake on them now the Muslim they claim well earth is uh, uh, the mountain they help to stable the earth that's just that's stupid to say the the earth is in continue moving the Quran now claim that the Quran is saying that the earth is now fixed by the mountain so it's not moving so the earth now should not shake no more why because we have mountains on them but the fact 
Japan is one of the most mountains areas in the world who suffer from earthquake. All of Japan is mountains, actually. So yeah, they I have know. mountains, a lot of mountains. But the reason for the mountain itself because the earth is moving. It's not the opposite. So the Quran claiming that Allah He placed in the top of the uh, on the top of the earth mountains, so the earth will not shake. And this is a funny, stupid explanation. It's not scientific. And look, if we go in the in the in the uh, in the Quran, different verse. You see, always mm -hmm. when you, when you when somebody speak to you about something, you have to connect all the dots together. Yeah. Chapter seven, verse number twenty-six, and we will go back to the mountain. O oh, children of Adam, we have sent down to you. And look at the translation. I don't know what you have in the Russian. Mm -hmm. It says a cover for your shame here. The fact it doesn't say that. It says we send down upon you clothing to cover your bad things and feather feather so why the Muslim don't say our clothes is sent down by Allah as long they agree that the word sent down that's mean the Aaron sent down and that's it right yeah the Quran says even we send down your we send down to you feather and since when we wear feather I'm not Indian I mean, this is weird. We send with a feather to to cover yourself. So the Quran is claiming that even the feather of birds send down to us, so we can make it as a clothes for us, which neither of the Arab use feather to cover themselves ever. Yeah. And why the Muslims yeah. don't say this is a miracle? Same time, the story about about the mountains is the same. It is proving that the Quran is a, is a false book. And look here. According to Islam, mountains was created after certain issues. Let us type the word Jibal, which means mountains. Yeah. Let us see the creation how? of the mountains. All right. Yeah. Here we will find how supposedly Allah He created the mountains. Uh First of all, there is mountains in the sky, and those are mountains of hail. Chapter 24, verse number 43. The Muslim they try to fabricate translation, and he say, and he sent down from the cloud that are like mountains. But do you see the word like between two brackets? There's no like there. That's a false. He sent it from the, the sky, not a cloud like mountain from mountains in it hail so there's mountains of hail in the sky and there's mountains in the in the in the ground the mountain in the ground is from rocks to stabilize the earth so it's not going to move and there's hail or mountain of hail in the sky and that where is the hail coming from uh, let us change the translation i don't know why it's not working The one who keep calling, don't force me to block you. I will block you. I'm talking to the gentleman. You are going crazy. The Abdul is afraid because they are afraid that you because you left Islam, so they are angry. Uh, let us change the translation. I'm not sure why it's not okay now. Uh, let us try this one. Oh, this is different language. What is that? Oh, I, I guess it's German. Yeah. Well, here, let's see. He sent down from the heaven mountains where there is there is hail. Even this translation is not correct. He sent down hail from mountains in heaven. You know what? Let us go to the interpretation. The Muslim interpretation should give us the real answer, correct? Let us see what this verse means. And here you will see that you know if the Quran is a book from God, and if this is stupid, that means everything they are saying is a lie. Do you agree? Mm. If 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 uh, if the Quran teaching that in heaven there's mountains of hail and Allah break from it, 
and he throw it at us that mean Quran is a book of false God what do you think no because it's not this is not how the hell is made right so one lie is enough to prove, yeah one one lie is enough to prove everything they said is to be uh, uh, false so chapter 21 verse number uh, let us see sorry um, let us go yeah Chapter 24, verse number 43. I'm opening the, the interpretation. Wait, hold on, guys. I'm just looking for the thing. The website is not working, so I will show you the screen. Happy. Yeah, yeah. No hurries. Yeah, they are texting me this way. I told them. By the way, this guy who okay. asked you about baptism, he added me too. And, uh, Called me and start to speak about baptism. I don't know. Hmm. Well, he's trying to convince you of something. <laughs> All right, look at this. This is the Muslim interpretation, not mine. Whatever they say, we will accept it. Deal? But he will be Jesus' followers. So. <laughs> yeah, look, look at this. And he sent down from the heaven out of mountains. Min jibalin. Min is extra that they're in, in the heaven, mountains. And he sent down from that mountains hail. How the Muslims they are saying to us, Allah, He sent down the Aaron, miracle of the Aaron. But yet the God of Islam saying that in mount there's mountains of hail, and Allah He sent it the hail from those mountains. He break the hail from the mountain and he submit at the one who he don't like. Well, obviously Allah cannot be God. This is Tafsir al Jalalain, and we can see Ibn Kathir. We can see Ibn Abbas, you know. So uh, they talk about mountains. Here we go. This is mountains. Is this is a miracle or this is something stupid? It's a stupid thing. He sent down from the heaven mountain where M is with hail. So there is hail in the mountain. There's mountain of hail. And Allah, he break hails and he submitted at the one he liked to punish. Now we go to different verses. Uh, if we go in the Quran and instead we are talking about the mountain topic just to show you how many evidence proving from the topic of the mountains that Islam is stupid uh, if you ask anyone any Muslim which one Allah created first you uh, you yourself now you are not a Muslim but what do you think which one Allah created first the mountains or the stars or, which one or, you think? Uh, mountains or what or the stars uh, I guess well my opinion I guess stars okay well uh, I never you know I never ask it someone about let it. us read here let us read together this is yes. a chapter 79 in chapter 79 it says the following are you more difficult to create or the heaven on high he has raised as uh, as gonna be and he has given it order of perfection and then he made the night and the day the, the, the day and the night so like this is the stars right day and night yeah. is the lights and then after that he made the earth flat and after that he make it water gave water and moisture and uh, and the trees and grass and after yes. that he put the mountains so what is the last thing he made here according to this chapter the mountains correct yes okay so the star the sky finished then after mm -hmm. that he went to the earth after he finished the sky he created the stars he made day and night the earth was he made the earth flat and then after that he make the uh, make the water come spring of water uh, trees and then at the end he placed mountains firmly fixed but mountains are not firmly fixed the fact they are moving everything every inch in this earth is in continue moving because we are simply swimming in the top of the magma I mean you do not need to be a genius to to learn this in a, in a school when you are 
in the in the in, in the age of 13 they teach you that now we go to the different verse in the Quran we go uh, to chapter Fusilat verse number we can read it from verse number one if you want but here it starts yes. talking about the creation verse number nine say what is in the disbelief etc in, uh, who created the earth in two days look at the lies they say two period the fact it says two days and he made the mountain above it service so what is the second thing after creating the earth is the mountain he made it in mountains above yeah, but, but the other chapter was the mountain was the last thing right yeah the other chapter the, the mountains was the last last thing not period this is two days let us change the translation you will see how the how everything changed they lie in their translation never trust Muslim translation doesn't matter what translator I'm telling you here we go to prove in front of you he said down in earth mountains look look say is it that you and I who created the earth in two days do you see the word two days two days why the other guy says two period because later they will say oh every day every period is equal to millions of years so they can't play games but it is two days and then it says and then he said on earth mountains standing firm high above it so what is the second he did place the mountains and then after that here it says moreover the fact it doesn't say moreover it says in Arabic thumma. there's a Muslim guy who teach Arabic in his video in his YouTube you will see that he said he explained clearly that the word thumma is for something happened next but not right away which means it took a long time or after so look at the first translation if we change the translator this is Yusuf Ali this is what I'm saying to you. We cannot trust Muslim translation. Look, then <clears throat> there's a huge difference between moreover and then then. The fact even then is not true. You should say then after that. If we change from Bigtal to different uh -huh. one, Halili and Khan. The guy, he said here then too. But anyway, then is enough to prove that this has happened after, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so first thing, Allah he created the earth in two days then the second thing he placed mountains in it then after that he went to the sky and he made it seven sky the, the sky at that point was a smoke as you see which means there was nothing and then he completed and finished them as seven heavens in, in seven days so according to this chapter 41 verse 12 what is the last thing is finished the stars yeah what is the second thing was it created the mountains right yes okay but the other chapter we showed you chapter 79 it mm, says there was difference yeah it was the, it totally the opposite nice. not only different it started the opposite the opposite direction so <sighs> here the the heaven finished first then he start working in the earth in the other chapter and the second thing he he created you know like here he, he made the sky and then he lifted it up because suppose the sky was on the top of the earth and then he uh, 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 he made the day and the night which means the stars created uh, as a as stage number three and then after that he made the earth flat so the first thing Allah finished is the sky and then he start working in the earth but in the other chapter is saying totally the opposite so if the Muslim is speaking about mountains as a miracle how Allah even don't remember how he created and what he created first I mean this is very simple in the top of that it's a stupid to say what he's saying that he placed the mountains in the top of the earth if you go in the hadith because Muslim they might say well Allah did not mean that he means something else let us go to the hadith Muhammad he said the following not me <laughs> I, I understand yeah Allah messenger said I don't know if you can read the screen. Actually, I just show it to you yeah. from Sahih, uh, from the Sahih yeah, Hadith. For the Muslim, they will not say uh, he is shown us from a book we don't trust. Muhammad said, Allah the Exalted, the Glorious, created the clay on Saturday. And he created the mountains on Sunday. Correct? Yeah. Okay. And then he created the trees in Monday. And he created the entire number in Tuesday. And he created the light in Wednesday. But look, if we go to chapter 41, 
uh, sorry, uh, 79, it says mm -hmm. the opposite. Allah created first the day and the night. He finished the sky. And then after that, not more over, you know. If this you is already it, from the Quran, right? This, this is from the Quran. We are not quoting yeah. from anywhere. And then yeah. after that, he start working in the earth. And after that, he made the water come. And after that, he placed the mountains. So according to chapter 79, the last thing Allah, he finished is the mountain. He placed it in the top of the earth. In chapter 41, it was the second thing Allah, he made. He placed the mountains in the top of the earth. So what kind of God? You don't remember what he did. I mean, this is very simple. In the same time, the earth is a flat. You see when it says, well, ardu ba'da dalika da ha ha. The ha ha, I saw many Muslims lying. They're saying that the word the ha ha mean he made it like an egg. Egg. The word the ha is an egg. That's a lie, big fat lie. All dictionaries, all Islamic dictionary, even translation, nobody says like an egg, for it's a lie. As you see here, it says this is the Muslim translation. And after that, oh. he spread the earth. But the fact, it doesn't say spread the earth. It says he made it flat. Let us go and see the Quran interpretation by Muslims. Chapter 79, verse number 30. We go here. You see, everything we say, we give a proof for it. We don't make things up. We don't give our uh, opinion. We are just showing a pure reference. Whatever it is, it is. You know, does it say flat? Absolutely, it says a flat. This is, if you go to Ibn uh, Ajalalain, let us show the interpretation. And after that, he spread out the earth and he made it a flat. Do you see the word flat? For yeah. it had been created before the heaven. Look, the earth is created before the heaven. Is that what science says? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> and the funny, they say to us that the Muslim believe in the Big Bang. Okay, how you believe in the wow. Big Bang, but your book says that the earth is created before the space. I would like to say now, I will ask the Sheikh, but I have no Sheikh. It's a little bit hard to find up well, the right person. Uh, I'm here to help you. Do you have any other answer or question, my friend? Uh, right now, I don't think so. All right, feel free to call me. I got all my answers which welcome. I wanted. All right, feel free. Thank to you so me. much. If it's okay, I can con uh, contact you some other day if no I will problem. get some more sure. questions. Sure, you can call me anytime. All right, yeah. take care. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Now we have another Muslim trying to call us. Uh, let us see. All the miracles of what's called miracle in the Quran is based in fabrication. All of it. We have uh, this guy he keeps trying to call. I think is the same guy. He's going crazy. Let us give him a chance. Okay. <clears throat> You know, if you uh, uh, all those miracles, they are depend in two things. You don't speak Arabic; they can lie to you about translation, and you do not have knowledge in Islam, so you have to accept whatever they say. But reality in front of us, proving that everything, every this, all of this is false. The Quran says it clearly: the earth is flat. Even he says, "Bisat," well, ardu bisatan. What bisat mean? Carpet. And this is why the Muslims, they have to pray in the direction of the Kaaba. Chapter 17, 71, verse number 19. And the Muslims, they try to cover up. They say, and he made the earth wide expand, spread for you. It doesn't say that. It says besought. Besought literally means carpet. Change the translator. You see, here the game is the game of translation in order to fool you. He made the earth wide expanse for you. That is, doesn't say that. 
You can take the word besought into Google Translation. You can copy it. This is the word. You can copy it and take it to Google. And you know what? Let us do this. I'm going to open an Islamic dictionary in front of you just to show you the, the, the corruption of those who claim that they are uh, 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 trying to teach about Islam. Because if they are not corrupt, they will not lie in the translation. Why you are lying? Simply because they want to hide mistakes in the Quran. I'm going to copy paste. This is the word I copy from the Quran. I will paste it there. Now hold on. Not this one. Uh, too many pages open here we go this is the word besalt all right copy paste in the front of your eyes now we go to the dictionary and then here we are going to paste the word and this is the word besalt Bisad Kalimat al Quran. Look what they say to us. An expense. Because they say it's Kalimat al Quran, they translate it as an expense. But if you ask any other person, they will say, if you switch to Arabic, you will see that it's mean carpet. And let us prove it to you in a, in a, in a simple words. Look, this is the same thing, the same dictionary. Flying carpet, magic carpet, mate, etc. Those are the meaning. But what is was the meaning really in the Quran? Does it mean expenses as they claim? Let us see. We take the same chapter, chapter 71, verse number 19. And this is the Muslim interpretation. Do you see it? It's about make it flat like a carpet. Expenses, it means he expanded, supposedly. But by the way, the verse doesn't say that word at all. Or what it says, besought. Which means even the translation here is false. It doesn't say the word flat. It says the word carpet. Which means flat. But this is supposedly the interpretation. And this is Tafsir al Jalalain. What about we go to Ibn Kathir? Let us see what Ibn Kathir will say. Because maybe Muslim will say, well, we don't like this uh, interpretation. So we go to Ibn Kathir, chapter 71, verse number 19. We have to go down, let's zoom in. Okay, here we go. Allah, he made the earth wide expenses, meaning he spread it out, he leveled it, he settled it, he stabilized it firm with lofty mountains, all of this is speaking about the flat earth. Not only that, what about the chapter Qaf? Chapter Qaf, just to confirm that the earth is flat. The earth not only is a flat, but it's surrounded by a mountain. It's called Qaf. There's a chapter in the Quran, it's called chapter Qaf. So if you go here, you will find the following. Chapter Qaf, verse number one. And this is the Muslim interpretation again. You can choose whatever interpretation you wish. Qaf is an azure mountain surrounding the earth, overlooking the earth. 
okay how the earth can be overlooked by a mountain because the earth is a flat and Allah he surrounded it by a fence it's called Qaf which is a mountain and the reason we cannot see it because it's an azure mountain which means it's a blue mountain overlooking the earth and even they say that the color of the sky is takes from it which means the sky is blue because of this mountain this is the science of Islam the earth is a flat mountains placed in the top of the earth they are not from the earth mountain created in a second Allah he placed it in the top of the earth so the earth will not move this is not my words nothing of what I said is from me as you see all all we are showing reference where is the Muslim who was calling me like crazy when the guy was talking to me you see all the purpose they are just trying to disturb the guy he stopped talking to me they stop calling that's the whole story let us try to call this guy again maybe now he will answer yeah now he don't want to answer they do it in purpose So where is the scientific miracle? And you know, if we find like uh, the, the first mistake, the second mistake, the third mistake, I mean, which one of them we will forgive Allah with to be God, but yet he is ignorant. Claiming that the sperm coming from the backbone or what about the sun sit, sit in murky water? So because they are desperately trying to find what it's called science in the Quran, they fabricate and they, they say things which is stupid. Look at this. Allah created the animals and he described for us what kind of animals he created and as long as the Muslims they claim that their book is the book of science well then we have to take it as a book of science it's your fault not our fault you are the one who's saying to us this is a book of science so whatever Allah he says is scientifically must be true accurate all right so when the Quran speak about the creation he created for us and then he claimed this as an example you have an example with the cattle what is the example you know like if you read this verse the Muslim, they will say to you, this is a miracle. This is the scientific discovery. The blood, the suck, etc. And then uh, milk. But this is not what the verse, let's just, let us see what the verse interpretation is saying. The verse interpretation proving to us Allah to be a false God. They try to play with the translation. They try to play with the interpretation. But they cannot do that because we have their scholars who written their books hundreds of years ago. And they understand very well what the Quran said. Chapter 66. How Allah explained how the cow she have milk. How this happened? We give you a drink that which of is in their bellies. And it's coming from their blood. Let us read the interpretation and you will die laughing and by the way they try to 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 fabricate to uh, to cover to cover up for this but it doesn't work search google <laughs> tafsir al-quran let us open the tafsir and the Quran. All of those are tafsir al Quran, but I will open this uh, site here. Have many tafsir in one page. Okay. Where is the? Hmm. You will see every Muslim is a scholar. 
he try his best to explain this uh, 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 this uh, uh, this uh, explanation for how the milk is made in the in the inside the animal. Let's go to English, so you understand. I'm just show show it to you in Arabic for those who speak Arabic. But let's go to the English. <clears throat> Chapter 16, verse number 66. In this website, we have only two interpretation in English. One is Ibn Abbas and one is Ibn uh, Ajlalain. We can go to Ibn Kathir too until that website open. Oops. 16. This one is not open yet. You see, it's take time. All of this is miracles of Allah. And the funny about Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. And the more he talks, the more he says stupid things. We have made a drink for you out of their belly. So the blood, the sorry, the, the milk of the animals, and all animals, they share the same thing. I mean, even a, a human is the same. I mean, the same mechanism. So according to the Quran, we made a drink for you out of what is in its belly. Meaning, singular form refer to one cattle, or could refer to the whole species. For cattle are the creatures which prov provide drink from uh, uh, what is in their belly. And in another ayah, in their bellies. Either way, uh, etc. is possible, okay? And then he says, from between the extortion and the blood, pure milk. Meaning, it is a free of a blood, and pure in whiteness, taste and sweetness. It's between extreme uh, uh, excrement and the blood in in the belly of the animal. But each of them go in its own way after the food has been fully digested in the stomach. So look at this. This is science. Then blood goes in the vein, and the milk goes in the uh, in the other. <laughs> So what the Quran saying that Allah when when the animal he eat he made the food two things one become a blood and one become milk This is what the Quran saying and not me Do you see it Muslims Is that really how the milk is for made, uh, 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 is made the milk is coming from the, the from the from your stomach, and the animal, the cow, she eat the grass, and then the grass become milk and blood, and then the blood go in the vein, and the milk go in the breast. Is that really science? Is it me who's saying that? This is my interpretation. So what the Quran is claiming that Allah He made a miracle. The 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 cow, the goat, she eat the grass. The grass became a blood and milk, and then Allah separated the blood from the milk in her stomach, in her belly. But this is stupid. This is not no such a thing. Who is a Muslim agree with this? Move the stupid message from the screen. Okay. Uh, move the stupid message from the screen. You put this one? <laughs> All right. So look at this. So guys, this is wisdom. The goat, she eat grass. 
the grass transform into blood and milk in the stomach really carefully this is not my words this is not my understanding from between the extortion and the blood the pure milk meaning uh, it is a free of a blood and pure of its whiteness taste and sweetness it is between uh, uh, excrement and the blood in the belly of the animal in the belly of the animal but each of them goes in its own way after the food has been fully digested in its stomach the blood goes in the vein the milk goes in the other the urine goes in the platter the feces goes in the anus <laughs> and none of them get mixed together a miracle of Allah and this is how Allah he explained how he made the milk who is a Muslim agree with that <coughs> Who is a Muslim agree with that? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim agree with the Quran? You know, you have tons of uh, uh, articles about this. Anyone? By the way, this is um, I mentioned this is for your benefit because this will give you like a a, a good help. I, I thought Muslims get excited; they will call me and they will say, "Yes, scientists agree with this." Where is the Muslims? Allah separated between the blood and the milk and the blood is in the stomach the blood go in the stomach and come from the stomach <laughs> only Muslim please Call you only if you are a Muslim. Articles, madness. Don't force me to to uh, to block you. Why people they insist? I say call me only if you are a Muslim. They don't listen, and then I block them. Here we go. What kind of animals Allah He created? What, what uh, hold on, the same chapter. Look at this. What what the bees eat? According to the Islam to the Quran, bees they eat fruits and they poop honey. Is that true? See, this is the wisdom. This is science. Bees, they eat fruits, they poop honey, and comes from their belly. 
a drink. So the bees, what the bees eat? Fruit. What they do? Poop? Honey. Who is a Muslim agree with that? As I know that the honey is the food of the bees, not the, not the fruits. Bees, they go and collect nectar and they bring it back. They don't eat it. They carry it back to the hive and then that thing, that liquid they bring is going to be converted into honey. This is their food. It's not their shit. Excuse my language. So the Quran is claiming that the, uh, the, the, the bees, they eat the fruits, they poop honey. Who agree with this? This is the same chapter, chapter 16, verse number 69. So the Quran claim that from the stomach, everything come. There's a blood there, and Allah separate between the blood and the milk. The milk, there's a process for the milk. There's nothing that's called milk. There's a process to make milk. And here in the chapter in the top, there's many mistakes. The milk is coming from the, from the blood. And here, another mistake. The bees, they eat the fruits and they poop honey. So Muhammad God, he think that when we eat honey, we are just collecting their poop, poop and this is not the food of the bees. When the fact this is their food, we are this, literally we are stealing their food. The poor bees, they make food and we steal it. As simple as that. According to the Quran, no. They eat from the fruits, and they poop honey. Who is a Muslim? I agree with that. So you see, I mean, let us say in the Quran there is one thing come to be accurate. Let us say for the sake of argument. I don't believe any Quran, anything is accurate. But let us say one thing come to be accurate. So as long as the Quran is the word of God, and then we find he said 100 things, one of them come to be true, and 99.9 .9 is a lie. Are you still going to believe his God? In the case of the God of Islam, I found that all the all the one hundred percent of his talk is a lie, and as you see, he cannot even remember which one he created first. And he thinks that women have a sperm. I mean, what kind of God he think women have a sperm? Since when women have a sperm? Whom? What made Muhammad think that women have a sperm? Muhammad will explain to you. Look at this. And here you understand how Muhammad fabricate Quran. Muhammad, he think that when women, she have a sexual intercourse, intercourse with a man, she have a liquid in her private part. He thought that this is a sperm. Read carefully. This is not me saying that. The Messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white. And here when he said the water, he means sperm. Because the Quran says, we created you from water. What is the water? The sperm, nutfa. And the man water is thin and yellow. Okay, wonderful. So now we have water coming from the man is thick and white. What is that? Sperm, obviously, or let us say uh, uh, sexual fluid, which contain the sperms and you know, semen. And women, women's water is thin and yellow. Look, 
Muhammad he called both water the first water is what is this is a, is the man sperm the sexual fluid including the sperm and then women have water too and their water is thin and yellow which one over which whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the parents do you see it in Ibn Kathir explain more about chapter uh, uh, 86 verse number six and seven he says sexual fluid come from both of them which without from both of them the baby will not be created okay what is that sexual fluid he said that this is a sexual fluid coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women okay how this is can be from God and how Muhammad he says such a stupid thing because here either you have to accept that Muhammad is a liar he claimed that he have knowledge or Muhammad is a fool he's not lying but he's just a fool but either way he cannot be a messenger of God see proceeding it's a sexual fluid proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs meaning the backbone and the ribs of the, the of the man and the ribs of the women and even it says actually in Arabic it says the location of the necklace for the women which means the sperm of the women the yellow the yellow liquid which Muhammad described here the water which is thin and yellow which other of them comes first the child which mean if the women she have orgasm first the baby will be a girl if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy so how this can be from God you see I mean name for me one chapter in this book is not stupid just one statement any Muhammadan who is a Muslim would like to call us who is a Muslim agree with his prophet about what he said that women they have a sperm which is thin and yellow and men they have a sperm which white and thick and whoever comes first the baby will resemble the parents is that what science says any Muslim if you say and if you agree that this is false then you just agree that Muhammad is fabricating knowledge Claiming knowledge, that's mean he's a false prophet. Otherwise, prove to us that this is true. Who in the world believe in such a garbage? Women have orgasm or not, that will not have any impact or any change in the baby uh, birth. That's not true. If the woman she have egg, the sperm will fertilize the egg, and that's it. It's not about who have orgasm first and secondly orgasm of women will make no different and Muhammad he described the water in the in the private part of the women as the sexual fluid will cause the baby to be exist is that true is that what the baby is made from that's stupid he think it's a sexual fluid will make the baby Any Muslim? So all those miracles uh, we find day and night Muslims speak about, we find that they, they are in trouble just to talk about them in our presence. If you don't speak Arabic, you do not know much, you know, they, are, they will be happy to tell you stories about the amazing Quran. Quran, brother, is a built-in proof. Built-in. <laughs> the Quran have built-in proof, brother. Okay, what is the built-in proof? Like what? 
And by the way, why the women water is thin and yellow, as I've been told by somebody who knows supposedly uh, uh, they are doctors, etc. They said that women should not have water which is yellow unless you have infection. Why the women water is yellow? This is about a sexual infection. Look like Muhammad, he never have sex with a woman. She is healthy. And look, in different place, not only in this place, Muhammad, he explained, uh, what is that liquid? It's something she see. It's not something like inside the body. It is something she can wash too. Um Salim, and look and look what kind of a prophet this prophet is. Imagine you are a prophet, a woman she come and she knock at your door. And she said to you, Hello, Prophet Muhammad. You say hello. Assalamu alaikum, Prophet. Alaikum salam. Prophet, yesterday I want to ask you a question about a woman who sees in her dream something like that which men sees uh, what what is that what is that i mean what kind of a decent woman she come to a man who is a stranger and she said to him that yesterday she was having self boom boom And then the message of Allah said, okay, if she sees that and she has this charge, then she have to perform a bath. Ooh. And this is neither a question and answer from the Prophet. The Prophet is going to tell you what you do after having sexual... Uh, the play by yourself um Salama, the wife of the prophet said oh messenger of allah does that really happen which mean women she have such a thing he said yes like, yes the water of the man is thick and white and the water of the women is a thin and yellow and whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the parents and look here, you notice the wife of Muhammad, she never experienced orgasm. And that is telling us how powerful the Prophet was in bed, as the Muslims claim, that he have the power of 40 men. Otherwise, why his wife, she's saying, this has really happened? That women, she have orgasm? Did you know this? The wife of Muhammad, she's saying, really? Really? Look, she's his wife. The wife of Muhammad, she never had orgasm, not even a single once. And she was wondering if this is true. The woman who has seen a dream, she have orgasm, and the wife of Muhammad, she could not have it all her life. And here you notice that Muhammad was a, a doctor, Muhammad. He's the expert. He's an expert in medicine, he's an expert in religion, you know, an expert in your private part, uh, you know, and he knows who comes first, who will resemble the father or the, the mother. Any Muslim? Uh, this is nothing but stupid, you know. There's no way this guy is a prophet. And as you see, this is uh, this is authentic story. So what we will do now? Is it really true that the women she have water which make the sperm? It is yellow and thin, and the man have a sperm which is white and thick, and whichever of them comes first will resemble the parents. Again, you have to agree that either Muhammad is a liar. Or he is a crazy man. Either way, he is not a prophet.
you see because Muhammad when he speak here he speak that Allah he taught him like the same as the guy when he asked him do you know where the sunset the guy he said well Allah and his messengers know best you see Muhammad the Muslims they are mushrikeen they associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of Muhammad Muhammad and Allah they knew not only Allah no Muhammad and Allah so I was sitting behind the measure of Allah and he was riding a donkey while the Sun was sitting he asked do you know where this set I replied Allah and his apostle knows best he said it said in a spring of boiling muddy dark water so here either you have to say Muhammad is a liar or is he crazy choose one they give you a headache about science and the Quran oh, this is the Quran the Quran come from that in chapter 18 that the Sun set in murky water the Muslim they try to fabricate answer saying oh because now this is exposed this is exposed actually a long time ago centuries and centuries ago so they say oh no 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 the Sun does not sick in murky water the Quran doesn't say that the Quran saying it appear as it is sitting in murky. It doesn't no, my friend. Don't lie. Here we go. Your prophet getting you busted. Your prophet getting you busted. The problem with Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. If Muhammad he took keep his mouth shut, you Muslims can fabricate as much lies you want to cover up that mistake. But what we can do with the man, he cannot shut up. You see in the Middle East <clears throat> if a man he is uh, foolish when like in the Middle East like when you go to get married you take your parents with you to ask for the hand of the girl you don't go by yourself but if the son is a foolish person the family the parents they will say to him when we go there don't talk even if they ask you we answer don't talk because the second he start talking it is the same second they will know that, that their son is an idiot foolish and this is Muhammad he can't stop talking now look voluntarily he is busting himself if Muhammad don't keep talking claiming knowledge is going to be very hard for us to get him busted right but a foolish man you have to talk imagine you are a foolish man and you work as a spy for CIA the whole world will know that you are a spy second day because you cannot keep your mouth shut you have to tell everybody and now Muhammad is a prophet and he is telling us news nobody knows he have the knowledge he want to teach them do you know He's asking, he's asking the guy, do you know where the sun set? The guy like, what? For sure I don't know. You are the prophet, not me. Hello? Allah and you knows. Only and you. There's only two people in the world they knew where the sun set. Allah and Muhammad. Isn't it obvious? And what is the answer? The sun set not in an ocean. You see, when they try to cover up, they say to you, oh, the sun, it's set in the ocean, so it appears like it's sitting in the ocean. But even the Quran never said the word ocean. The Quran says it's set in a spring of water. The reason for that, because the throne of Allah is over that spring, over the water. It's not an ocean. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> well, if we have anyone, he can text me in Skype and we can talk to him, no problem.
Anyone? And by the way, I was going to tell you a secret about where the moon set. But I said to myself, why I want to share it with you for free? I think you guys, you have to pay for that. I was really thinking to tell you to share this information, which nobody knows where the moon set. But you know what? I, we are friends. I will share with you. Okay. Uh, the moon set every day. Uh, I don't know if really I should say that. I'm afraid that the CIA will kidnap me for I shared information. It can change the whole uh, balance between uh, powers and the earth. The Russian, they will use it against the American, maybe. And uh, uh, Mr. Kim Jong Jin Fong Chung Ha from Korea, he might uh, use my knowledge now. I think I'm not going to share that with you. Sorry. I have I have to hide it. I was going to tell you where the moon set, but I'm not going to do that for security reason, for the safety of this earth. In any other way, I just saved your life, all of you. I don't think it's right to say to you that uh, the, the the moon set in my microwave, B because that that will involve micro and waves, and that will can cause use for weapon and mass destruction. Did I say uh, the word that the moon said? <laughs> <clears throat> Any Abdul? Where is where is the where is the knowledge? Where is the miracles? Where is this is the prophet? He speak of where Muhammad he got his knowledge? Where the sun set from Allah. And then the Muslim, they try to cover up and they try to fabricate the, the, the interpretation. And the story in the Quran says clearly that the one who found how the sun set is Alexander the Great. But the one who report the story is Allah and he say he found that setting. And not only that, he reached the setting place of the sun. Where is that? Zul Qurnayn, his life journey was for many years. So now we are reporting a special incident. So are you saying to me that Zul Qurnayn, he saw only once in his life the sea? And finally, he found the sun sitting in the sea? Or this is literally about finding a place where the sun set? As you see, it says, until he reached the sitting place of the sun. <clears throat> Anyone? Nobody? As you see, this is really stupid, I mean. And he found next to it people. And then when the Muslim, they try to defend, they say, oh, it appeared like because he went there and the sun set in the ocean. But the fact, it doesn't even say the word ocean. It says a spring of water. Spring. Since when the ocean looked like a spring of water? Anyone? Yeah, since the Prophet he said so, that's it. As long as the Prophet he said, and not only that, Muhammad he found where the sun rise too. You see, there's a rising place for the sun. To make the story more stupid, not only he found where the sun set, he found the rising place of the sun. You see it? So now he changes course, he changes road, 
and then he reached place where the suns rise place he keep walking 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 and then he found where the sunrise the place where it rise how you can how you can cover this one too but do I need to go anywhere he found it rising on people like what the heck the Sun rise everywhere my friend the Sun set everywhere because simply there's no sitting there's no rising it's the earth going around itself I can stay here in my chair until tomorrow and the Sun will rise without me going anywhere and I will see it from my window what do you mean he go all the way until he found the Sun rising place where is the sun rising place any Muslim can help us this is a pure science where we can find the sun rising place where people next to it live not only he found look he found next to it people live there I mean the the, the stupid lie is confirmed now brother not only I found the Sun brother I found next to it where people live and by the way one of them his name is Johnny Johnny English even Johnny English did not come with this if we ask mr. Bean to make Quran he will come with but better stories and then by the way those people there are stupid they understand nothing look look they understand nothing look 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 Till when we came between two mountains, he found upon the air either a side of folk who they understand nothing, they didn't understand the saying, they are stupid. And then suddenly, those who understand nothing, they said to him, Ozul Kurnain, build for us a dam between us and Gog and Magog. Like, what the heck? A second ago, they were stupid, they don't understand nothing. A second after they are teaching the Prophet of Allah what to do how they understand nothing if you say understand nothing mean he didn't speak the same language or you say they are stupid either way how they told him to build a dam they don't speak the language either they don't speak the language or they are stupid which one and then the brother he built for them a dam between a creatures they are called people of Gog and Magog people of Gog and Magog they are not like us each one of them he is so good in sex to the point before he die he will make 1,000 baby yes brother and they have a huge ear they sleep inside it like a tent they are not a human like us brother Gog and Magog and if every one of them make 1,000 before he die which mean when a man he make let us say a man he have a, he die with 40 children 50 children every one of Gog and Magog will make a thousand men from their kind before he die and look here Muhammad is making a prophecy that when people and Gog and Magog they attack the Muslims this is in the end of the time the end of the time the Muslim will use the bows and arrows and shield of Gog and Magog as firewood for seven years <laughs> my friend we are in the time of missiles we are in the time of nukes and you are telling me at the end of the time Gog and Magog they will use arrow made from wood and Muslims they will use it for barbecue This is the end of the time. Even John Wick, he come with better. And supposedly Gog and Magog, every day they try to dig in the dam which is built uh, by Zulkarnain. The man with the two horns. Do you guys, do you remember why Zulkarnain is called Zulkarnain? What Zulkarnain mean? Who remember? <clears throat> Who remember what Zulkarnain mean? What this word mean? The man with the two horn. Why he have two horn? 
because Allah he sent him to his people and he asked them to convert to Islam his people they hit him in his head and they killed him and this is how and Allah he touched that place and that place grow as horn and this is how he got the first horn and Allah raised him from death and then Allah sent him back again to his people and again they hit him in the other side of his head and he got the second horn and Allah uh, call him Zulqurnayn, the man with the two horns true story in the Middle East we have a lot of people they have two horns already hmm. if you ask the Muslims what is the name of this guy they don't know I mean have you ever heard of a God calling somebody the, the, the one with the two horn what is that is that a cow who is he who is this guy simply this is a story written by a Syrian Syrian not a Syrian Syrian fiction story Aramaic story written about Alexander the Great so the the person is real Alexander the Great is a real person the story is fiction about him going finding where the sun set he found next to it people it's, this is exactly what is written in that story Muhammad he took the story he put it in the Quran no Gog and Magog Gog and Magog in the Quran it's about people not location see the Quran have different story the Quran because because that story is taken from a fiction story as I said so the Quran is speaking about Gog and Magog not about location it is uh, it is uh, two nations and they are not a human like us and until now we cannot find this uh, uh, dam which is built by uh, Zulqarnain which is made from uh, iron and copper look he built a dam between those two mountains and now supposedly those Gog and Magog they are trying to dig every day in that in that wall and they cannot go through every day and why they cannot go through anyone remember anyone remember why they cannot go through who remember Why Gog and Magog they cannot come to us yet? Let us see how man how, how uh, they are digging the iron wall, yes. But every day they dig and then they go to sleep. According to Muhammad, when those people they are digging in the wall, which is built by Zulqarnain, when the night comes, they go to sleep and they forgot to say inshallah tomorrow which means god is willing allah is willing we will do continue tomorrow and because they forgot to say inshallah allah he blocked that hole which they dig all day long they come the second morning they found it blocked subhanallah <laughs> so one day one day the leader of them he will say that word he will say inshallah tomorrow we will do it continue and when they come in the second day they will find that that hole they digged is not blocked again by Allah do you see it amazing is it all those stories about Zulqarnain and Gog and Magog prophecies of Muhammad You have to admit that you have to have really uh, crazy to believe in this all this garbage all of this prophecy Muhammad prophesying look at the percentage of Gog and Magog and the percentage of Muslims read carefully uh, The people were so distressed and afraid. They're afraid they got scared from Gog and Magog. 
and their faces got to change in color whereupon the prophet said from Gog and Magog 999 and from you will be taken out of one from you mean what do you think Muslims <coughs> in the day of judgment brother because the percentage of Gog and Magog is 1,000 to 1 as we said from every from every uh, 1,000 look then there will be the, the a loud call saying Allah order you to take among your offspring mission for the hell hellfire Adam will say oh Lord who are the mission for hellfire Allah will say out of each thousand take out 999 and here the Muslim like what the heck of every 1,000 human there's 999 they will go to hell at this time a very uh, a woman she is carrying a child she uh, a female she drop her load and she have a miscarriage and the child will be gray here Muhammad making prophecy and she sh you shall see mankind as dark in state a drunken state yet they are not drunk but severe will be the torment of Allah when the Prophet mentioned this the people were so distressed and look Muhammad now he's trying to fix his lie because he said he was talking to Adam he says take from every 1999 so Muhammad he said to himself oh, oh what I did I just told the Muslims from every 1000 of you only one will go to heaven so Muhammad decided to fix it look what he said so the people were distressed and they're afraid that their faces got changed in the color whereupon the Prophet said from Gog and Magog 999 will be taken out and one from you but look this is what he said in the beginning in the beginning he was talking to Adam the offspring of Adam you see it he made it clear that from the offspring of Adam 999 they will go to hell and now to fix it because the Muslim will not like that I mean what are you talking about from every 1,000 of us only one will go to heaven that's mean all of us are going to hell so Muhammad in order to fix that lie he just made he changed it trying to say in the 99 900 is it from the people of Gog and Magog but as you see in the beginning of the story he did not say that he said those are the offspring of Adam Any Abdul? All right, look like we are out of Abdul. Don't forget to download the video, guys. We are going to, uh, as usual, we don't keep the videos there. Download them, cut them pieces, do whatever you want with them, and let everybody laugh at this crazy, stupid uh, 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 lies. They say to us that Quran proven, Quran have a lot of proofs, Quran is preserved, Quran is scientific, all the madness we hear which is absolutely false download share our videos and if you like to always to get the updated link of uh, of uh, the because we delayed the link but what I do in patreon I update the link there so you always you can find the video uh, so always visit uh, patreon and the link is down in the info uh, so you can get the updated link for the new uh, person who is loading the video this is what I do every time before I delete I take one of you I choose one of you and I try always to you know to choose randomly and usually the first one who download the video and post it is going to be usually the first to post his link in my patreon so people they click in it and they go there to watch the video all right uh, 
Yeah, and the new channel, I'm going to, I'm just really, really busy. But anyway, uh, the new channel is going to be like, you know, it's just for us to talk about uh, things in life, nothing about me as a person, but it's about uh, experience and things maybe uh, we learn from, uh, traveling, you know, I've been around the world, many cities, many countries. And actually, I'm even, I'm, I, uh, I, I need to do some maintenance for my teeth. So I'm thinking to uh, to go to somewhere in America. Dentist is extremely extremely expensive. I mean, they rip you off. It's like, but you better uh, uh, <laughs> you know you, you better let your teeth fly before you go to the clinic. So I might go uh, to a different country to fix them, and maybe I will use that channel too. To do either live broadcast or I'll post videos from where I am located so you guys can share with me uh, my travel experience so soon I'm going to post that link for you where you can find my update where I'm going and uh, this is what happened to you when you still have teeth man they hurt see what happened and in USA they really hurt a lot they really hurt a lot I mean, they hurt you a lot more than normal teeth because the dentist here, he rip you really off. It's not only enough the pain of your teeth, here you will have the pain of the bells, which usually you can't really afford. You know, you can search right now in two seconds how much it costs to fix your teeth in USA. You will be astonished. All right? Uh... You will help me with your uh, with my teeth. Why are you a doctor? <clears throat> they are not bad in prices. Where, Lisa? Go to Chinatown. What is that? What is what does that mean, Chinatown? <laughs> dentist is a dentist. Are you going to take me to the barber shop in the Middle East in some poor area? The barber shop is the one who fix your teeth. He tie it into a rope, and he ordered the donkey to run. Right? Yeah, Philippine. It you know uh, we will see. We will see. It will be updated. Don't. Worry. I'm going to post. Uh, uh, as I said, the link will be for you always to be updated. I will post videos there to update you. And it's going to be fun actually to have a channel which is not about the religion. It's just, you know, for, for the friends. I have many friends here, many people who I love and they love me and I know for sure of that. So those who care, they will be always, uh, you know, uh, watching that channel and we can uh, share together. Who is here from the Philippines? How many of you from the Philippines? <coughs> and the Philippines now is getting more expensive. It's not like before. <coughs> Rent is expensive. You know, it's, uh, it's not really. Thank you, Carolina. Yeah, let the college student play with my teeth. Exactly. Davao, I've been in Davao. Indonesia, we just, what's up? What I would do is up. Yeah, the Pinoy student will play with my teeth, right? That's what this what you want from me, guys. Really, you want the student to play with me? Try. They put the glue and the glue never come up. <laughs> Unbelievable. You guys, you hate me too very much, don't you? <laughs> Let the student play with your teeth. They learn by you. You are going to be the rat for the student. So a dummy student, he'd open my teeth and he put the machine inside my mouth and God knows what he will do. Right? Hmm. 
Uh, okay, Black Angel, no problem. Actually, I'm invited to go to the Philippines, but I'm not sure when I can go. Usually, I like to go to the Philippines when it is cold time, so we can escape. Uh, uh, no, I don't. I don't have insurance. And even if you have insurance in your say they don't cover you. You can ask anyone. Insurance companies are the biggest scam in USA. When you get sick or something happened to you, they say, oh, this is not covered. Oh, this is not included. Oh, this is... So you find yourself, you were paying them a lot of money for nothing. They are a scam. Officially legal scam. You know? Yeah, exactly. Student, look what Andy said. Student, they close their eyes when they are working. <laughs> Especially if it's a girl first time she practiced that, she's scared. So she will close her eyes and she will be working in my teeth. And then Christian Prince, he will come back and he will say to you, a brother and sister, I'm going to explain to you what happened to my tongue. Simply a Filipina student, he was working in my teeth and he cut my tongue. By mistake. And because he is a student, I cannot sue her and I can do nothing about it. Yeah. And maybe even she they will do the same what Dr. Dr. Bean he did. You know. <laughs> Mr. Bean. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, she do she would they would do that too, right? Oh boy. But you see, you guys, you have a great ideas. I mean, that's a good idea. Yeah, you know, a student, he can see what happened to you when you are not a rich person. Oh, and life is different. Uh, today I was working, uh, uh, before I uh, opened my, uh, uh, the, the broadcast, I was fixing uh, the plumbing in my kitchen. And, man, it's fun. It's really fun. But this is what I do every day, working in plumbing. Islam need a plumber. And this is what we do. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. And again, soon I'm going to tell you which channel you can find the news about me. So if I go uh, abroad to different country, I might stay for not for long. It's just enough time to, you know, do my teeth. So... Uh, and do some uh, maintenance. See what happened to you when you get old? Maintenance. They put glue there, cement there, you know, uh, some metal here. Maintenance. You are breaking apart. <laughs> all right. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And thank you for being with us. Take care.